Married at First Sight Season 12. I told y'all I'm not watching this show, okay? And I have proof. This is why I can't watch this show. I am so tired of the bull with Married at First Sight. But anyways, welcome back to uh, Church Girls and Faith Girl Want to Get Married to. Well, girl, I told y'all I'm not watching. And a lot of you have emailed me lamenting. <laughs> lamenting like Janice we need you to watch we need you to watch we need your, your wisdom thank you girl so what I have decided to do is it's too early for these kids to be calling Lexi girl it's too early in the morning so y'all been emailing me inboxing us a GGS, we need you to watch da, da, da. so I figured out how we can both be happy I'm not gonna watch cause I ain't got time and I'm tired of the beer but I have a lot of questions in reference to things people have said and it can be applied to dating like the guy Chris talked about he wanted submissive wife so I can't talk about that and I'm gonna give you the spoilers because I do get spoilers I already know some of the spoilers so what I'm going to talk about, girl, is the guy, Chris, who got engaged February of 2020, then broke up with his pregnant, pregnant fiance to come married a stranger at first sight. This the book. I'm talking about with married at first sight. I am so sick of them. They are doing it for drama. And why you tell me this man was just got engaged, have a pregnant fiance, and you're going to match him to get married at first sight? Why they didn't send him back home to go be with the pregnant fiance that has a whole baby on the way? And this the book that I, I can't. I'm like, come on, y'all. If, if why is this boy who has a pregnant fiance why is he ready to get married at first sight this piece of bull this piece of you know I can't you know I'm not a cussing woman but this is what I'm him but girl let me show you the video of him proposing to the fiance February. Okay. February. February. February 20th. Oh, man. Where they gonna put the date? Okay, okay. I'm gonna show you it. February. Tell me why is he on a show getting married at first sight and he got a pregnant fiance that he should st he should be trying to work the stuff at, with, out at with. You see what I mean with married at first sight? This is the bull crap I'm talking about. You tell me why is this guy ready to get married at first sight? Look at him proposing then he dumped her then he knocked her up dumped her and then come on the show to get married at first sight why was he a good candidate to match to get married to a stranger when he had a whole fiance and a baby on the way. But ladies, this is what I'm talking about. This is the bull crap I'm talking about. Why we need to close our legs to these men who we are not married to. He knocked her up and left her to come on a show to get married at first sight. And then talking about he want a woman to submit to him. Submit. How in the name of sweet baby Jesus, you want a wife to submit to you when you can't even submit to keeping your little dingling in your pants? Please explain that to me. You can't submit to Christ. 
Because isn't that what the Bible says? You can't submit to doing right. You knock this girl up, put a ring on her finger, then left her to come on a show to Married at First Sight. And this is the bull crap I'm talking about. This is why I keep telling y'all, Married at First Sight is not matching people who have common goals. They might match one or two to make us keep watching, um, but they match people at the opposite side of the spectrum because I don't understand for the life of me why this guy was a good candidate to get matched. Huh? Why was he a good... Look at him with his family and her family. No, that poor girl is knocked up with the whole baby on the way while this fool is on TV. Marrying a stranger at first sight. He should not have... Why is he... What the F do you they Google these? Why is he on a show? I'm so disgusted that I, I this is what I'm, this is one of the reasons I can't watch. I, I'm just tired of the bull crap. I'm so exhausted. I am so tired. I've been watching from season one. I am disgusted and I'm just so tired. And I just, I just can't watch. I just, I'm just exhausted. But I will be answering some of your general dating questions. If you have general dating questions in reference to the topic like submission and stuff, I can answer those. But as far as what I just can't, I'm just tired. And this is proof of what I'm talking about. Like, why is this guy a good candidate to watch? Okay, please remember my books, The Naked Wife, 23 Types of Guys You Might Meet. Stop opening up your legs to these, these men. I can't imagine what that poor girl is going through. I can't imagine that she's, she's with the, she, her fiance, the baby's daddy done left her to get married to a stranger on TV. <clears throat> I can't imagine what she's going through. I can't imagine what her family's going through. The embarrassment, the shame. Okay. I'm trying to read something for y'all. I, I, I can't, for the life of me, I just need somebody to tell me why the experts, which I know it's not the experts. I, the experts are just the, just the phase. Uh, they're not really the ones being, they just basically do what the producers tell them to do. I'm looking for the spoiler. But anyways, y'all, tell me what you think about the experts. Do you see why I'm like, I just really don't want to be bothered? Because the bullshit, <laughs> the bull crap, bull crap. Okay, I just, why do you, you tell me why I, I think you think this guy, <sighs> he's a disgrace. He's a disgrace to humans, to the human beings. He is disgusting and he is terrible. And ladies, this is proof. You y'all opening up y'all legs and making babies with these fools that haven't put a ring on it and think they're going to be faithful to you because you got a baby in there. Uh-huh. This is what they will do. They will leave you and go marry another girl, okay? And I just think it's awful for the for the experts. I don't I don't even know. I don't even want to know the excuses they're going to give about this. Where is this thing I can't find? I don't even know what the excuse is going to be. But anyways, girl, I got to go. It's Monday, Martin Luther King Day. Happy Martin Luther King Day. I have to do uh, projects with the kids. My table is a mess because we've been doing, you know, projects with the kids, Martin Luther King and Day. And because, you know, they're in school, but I still have them to do their little projects and stuff. And then we have to, I have to start putting away the Christmas. stuff. So my husband went to the basement and got all the Christmas containers. <laughs> so that means time for the Christmas stuff to go. And then I'm going to decorate for uh, Valentine's. I decorate for all, all the holidays, ladies. This is your do domain, ladies. Fix it up for the people, for your husband and your kids. I'm sure they like it. I'm going to have to come back and read the spoiler to y'all because I can't find it. But anyways, girl, let me know what you think. Remember, my mentorship program is available. You better jump on this special now because after the January, the special is gone and it's not coming back. 
And uh, my books are available on Amazon. I need your love and support. I need more of you to not only buy the books, but remember, I need reviews. Oh, I'm reading my Thou Shall Not Try Me shirt. I think I might have another shirt or two. And, of course, the naked wife, the naked fiance, okay? That girl, poor girl, is going to be... Well, anyway, he owns a sandwich shop or Subway or something, girl. So get that child support, honey. Get the child support. My mentorship program is available. And, of course, in Christ I am. I love you, girl. I got to go. Let me know what you think. I have some other married at first sight questions I answer. I think this is what I'm going to do. You could ask me questions, general dating questions, and I can answer them. And this way, you know, you could get a little bit of it. But... <laughs> People, oh my god, Janice! Ah, you cannot, you cannot, you must review him. Girl, I got sick. I, I'm sick of married at first sight, and I just can't. I just can't. I really want to see people match that really want to be matched. But all after all this bullcrap, matches somebody that got engaged a month before y'all chose him to be on the show, and she pregnant, and y'all think this was a good person to match? No drama they doing it for the drama for the drama girl for the drama and on the phone he calling call talk about she called talk about he pregnant she pregnant so what's gonna happen lord i just can't girl i love you i'm so disturbed by this bull girl i'm i got to go i got to go bye